In this video, you'll look at the inner workings and implications of artificial intelligence. Regardless of whether it's the most recent science fiction films or simply ordinary news, it appears to be that artificial intelligence can be found all over. Maybe obviously, there's a little arrangement about the details surrounding AI, will automation lead to mass joblessness? Will traditional cars soon be replaced by self-driving vehicles? Is it true that we are bound to be enslaved by automated overlords? Regardless of the wide change in opinions encompassing these issues, it's frequently the most critical and exaggerated voices that become the main focus with regards to conversations about AI and its likely impacts. Obviously, AI represents some genuine dangers to our economy. In any case, by zeroing in just on the disadvantages, we overlook AI's capability to reshape the world, reclassify work, and give significant aids to medical care, among numerous different advantages. These chapters give a comprehensive perspective on AI, from how it works to the manners in which it could help or damage us later on. En route, you'll hear an overall feeling of the thoughts of the 23 AI specialists the writer met in making his book. In these chapters, you'll learn how AI realizes what cat is, why we should be afraid of killer robots, and why live show passes may turn out to be significantly more costly. Distinctive deep learning techniques can prepare AI to finish tasks. Recall when you were a kid. Do you recollect the first occasion when you saw a cat or an image of a cat? What number of cats did you need to see before you completely saw precisely what a cat was? You no doubt simply expected to see a couple before you could undoubtedly separate a cat from another animal. Such learning, which includes seeing an exceptionally modest number of examples, comes effectively and normally to humans, however for an AI, it's extremely troublesome. For an AI to comprehend what makes a cat a cat, it should be prepared. These days, that regularly occurs through deep learning, a type of AI that has driven the greater part of the significant steps in AI throughout the most recent decade. The key message here is, distinctive deep learning techniques can prepare AI to finish tasks. Regardless of whether an AI is being prepared to perceive cats, canines, or espresso cups, everything begins with a neural network. This is programming with numerous layers of neurons that imitate the ones found in the human brain. There are a couple of various strategies researchers usually use to prepare neural networks. One is supervised learning, a sort of deep learning wherein an AI is taken care of by a bunch of preparing models, each marked with a portrait. After the AI has been prepared, we could then show it an image of a cat. Then, the collection of pixels in the image courses through the neural network, after which the machine will confirm, we trust, that what it sees is, in reality, a cat. Regardless of whether it guesses accurately, this AI actually has definitely no clue about what cat implies, it doesn't have the foggiest idea what a cat does or whether it's alive. For an AI to build up this agreement, it should be educated through grounded language learning. This is a deep learning approach where sentences or words are related to pictures, recordings, or articles in reality. These procedures empower deep learning to have a wide range of likely applications. For one, grounded language learning could help build up AI's language abilities, making it valuable in close-to-home collaborators like Siri. Furthermore, deep learning has just been utilized to prepare AI to mess around. In perhaps the most celebrated occurrences, the AI AlphaGo was prepared by noticing numerous rounds of Go, and eventually had the option to beat the best human victor unexpectedly. Deep learning is restricted. It's hard not to be impressed when we see an AI beating the best human players at chess, Go, or Shogi. However, as fantastic as that is, it doesn't mean we're any nearer to accomplishing any sort of broad intelligence. Man-made intelligence is still just acceptable at finishing specific, narrow tasks. Take AlphaZero. It was prepared through deep learning to play deterministic, two-player, and completely recognizable prepackaged games, similar to chess and Go. Notwithstanding AlphaZero's ability in these games, it would be totally pointless whenever requested to figure out how to play some other sort of game like, say, poker. The key message here is, deep learning is restricted. In contrast to chess or Go, poker is a round of incomplete data. It's just partially observable, which implies you can't see the full board while playing. Along these lines, a poker-playing AI requires calculations intended to assess moves the machine can't really see. AlphaZero can't do that. It's intended to expect that the game it's playing remembers just the pieces for the board. In this way, as of the present moment, AI is simply ready to finish one assignment that it's particularly prepared for. 
However, another significant issue with deep learning and neural networks is in the information we use to educate them. It's an obvious fact that humans can be one-sided, regardless of whether or not we expect to be. For example, with regards to policing, measurements show that a few areas are watched more than others, which means we, at last, have more information about those neighborhoods than others. If an AI is prepared to utilize this slanted information, the framework could wind up making one-sided expectations about where wrongdoing is bound to happen. The constraints of deep learning methods imply that we likely won't have the option to utilize any of them to arrive at the following phase of AI advancement, artificial general intelligence, or AGI. Such a machine would require sound judgment, or the capacity to make deductions about circumstances it's never experienced. Yet, that challenge hasn't stopped scientists from investigating strategies for doing this. There are a couple of methods of attempting to give machines presence of mind. One way basically includes staying as numerous pieces of information into an AI's brain as possible as sensible standards. This strategy, nonetheless, isn't practical, since there is a limitless number of possible principles and circumstances. Then again, a few specialists trust that good judgment will arise through machines basically noticing the world and learning how things work, in an unstructured way. Yet, there might be another alternative, researchers could make AGI by utilizing a hybrid system that centers neural networks and customary consistent principles. We'll investigate how in the following chapters. Hybrid systems could be the way to additional upgrades in AI. Throughout the long term, different machine learning strategies have become undesirable. This phenomenon is actually what occurred with the idea of deep learning. The strategy got up as ahead of schedule as the 1950s, however, was excused as pointless by the 1960s, yet today it's once again the current machine learning technique. Deep learning will without a doubt assume a part in the AI of things to come, however, its limits imply that it can't be the lone method we use to make AGI. Or maybe, the improvement of AGI may expect analysts to join a few diverse AI strategies to make a hybrid system. The key message here is, hybrid systems could be the way to additional upgrades in AI. Human brains are worked with the inborn capacity to learn, kids are our example of intelligence dependably scaling up from something not exactly grown-up human intelligence. Along these lines, numerous AI analysts are examining youngsters in the desire for revealing the fundamental constructions in the mind that allow us to learn. One neuroscientist and specialist, Demise Hassebiais, accepts that combining reinforcement learning with different methods offers the most practical way to AGI. In humans, this happens through our dopamine system, where the neural connections in our brain are strengthened when they get reward signals. We can mimic this in AI by asking a machine to more than once attempt a task and prize it each time it succeeds. Obviously, humans learn from various perspectives, as well. We do a great deal of unsupervised learning, where we wander around and gather information through investigation. If researchers can sort out some way to get AI to learn thusly, without us expecting to furnish it with huge loads of information, we'll unquestionably have a discovery in creating AGI. Like human minds, AI might actually be worked with a hidden design and afterward prepared with deep learning strategies on top of it. A hybrid system like this, however potentially complex in its application, isn't new. It's as of now being put to use in the present self-driving vehicles. In what capacity? Indeed, self-driving vehicles should have the option to comprehend what choices to make out and about. A portion of the vehicle's information can emerge from information acquired through deep learning, yet few out of every odd circumstance is unsurprising. That implies humans should work in standards that imagine circumstances the cars might actually experience, and what their reactions should be. Self-sufficient vehicles are for sure energizing, however, there are bounty more applications for AI. We should get into a portion of those next. Artificial intelligence can possibly make life simpler and better for everybody. In the new past, there's been a ton of discussion about AI's capability to strengthen the talents and generalizations humans may accidentally program into them. Loads of academic researchers understand the issue of bias with regards to AI and are altering calculations to react to it. Yet, this could be flipped and used for our potential benefit, we could utilize AI to eliminate biases. It's basically more hard to focus on and write biases in ourselves. In any case, as PC researcher Fei Fei Li brings up, when we see our own biases reflected at us through innovation, we can discover approaches to address them. Thus, eliminating bias is only an example of AI's capacity to improve people's lives. 
The key message here is, artificial intelligence can possibly make life simpler and better for everybody. Utilizing AI to eradicate bias isn't ridiculous, truth be told, it's now being put to use at Effectiva. Effectiva was made by computer scientist and business person Rana L. Kaliubi, who accepts that we need to begin about the emotional intelligence of machines rather than simply their smartness. Effectiva has utilized algorithms and natural language processing methods to make an anti-bias AI employing the device. Rather than written resumes, candidates send in video interviews, which the AI positions depend on the up-and-comer's non-verbal communication skills and question reactions. The Outcome At High Review, an organization that tried the framework, employing time was diminished by 90%, and the variety of fresh hires expanded by 16%. Another of El Kaliabai's undertakings is intended to help kids in the range of mental imbalance, who regularly struggle interpreting others' feelings. She and others in her lab made extraordinary sorts of glasses that can read people's feelings and give the wearer feedback on those feelings. Youngsters who wore the glasses wound up visually connecting and experienced more greater understandings when seeing people's appearances. Besides these particular uses for AI, there are a lot of alternate ways for machine intelligence to help the normal individual. This may begin with robots that can take over the commonplace, routine tasks like folding clothing, accordingly saving our time. Yet, it doesn't stop there. As indicated by Ray Kurzweil, the director of engineering at Google, we're probably going to one day have nanorobots gliding around in our bloodstreams. These tiny bots might actually help our immune systems, expand our lives, and even associate our cerebrums to the web. Artificial intelligence helps logical advances, especially in healthcare. Stroll into any clinic or care office in America today and you're probably going to discover a lot of worried specialists and medical caretakers. Nowadays, medical services experts work long moves, have tight timetables, and are highly powerless to burn out and push. Not just that surged specialists and medical attendants mean patients are accepting lower quality consideration than they in any case would. Indeed, the current third driving reason for death in American emergency clinics is doctor mistakes. Luckily, medical services are one territory in which AI can be of significant help. Along these lines, as business visionary Oren Etzioni contends, by deciding not to find a way to coordinate AI and healthcare, we are really permitting more lives to be lost. The key message here is, artificial intelligence helps logical advances, especially in healthcare. Medical services are a massive industry, and there's a wide variety of ways AI can be utilized inside it. As of this moment, neural networks can be prepared to perceive when a picture contains an image of, say, an espresso mug. Those equivalent neural networks could likewise be prepared to perceive when a tumor is available in a radiology check, for example. In a comparable vein, diagnosing psychological illnesses like misery is troublesome right now since we depend generally on self-reports of indications, as self-destructive considerations. However, we additionally realize that there are sure facial and vocal biomarkers of sorrow, they're only difficult for humans to get on. For an AI with the capacity to lead facial and sound outputs, however, it very well may be very straightforward. On the off chance that robots could be made liable for some segment of patient consideration, specialists and medical caretakers' time could be opened up and reallocated to where it's truly required. Calculations could be utilized to decipher tolerant data and give input to clinicians, patients, and relatives, which would both save time and improve communication. However, the advantages of AI in science don't stop with medical care alone. It could likewise possibly help in the field of logical examination. Take the task semantic scholar, driven by Oren Etzioni. To keep awake to date on the most recent examination, researchers are needed to swim through countless publications. Semantic Scholar helps by demonstrating to them the papers they're probably going to need to peruse and locating significant discoveries inside those papers. Up until this point, we've talked about all the great AI can accomplish for the world, however in the following chapters, we'll look into a portion of the expected drawbacks. Artificial Intelligence Could Be Weaponized It's an obvious fact that humanity's dangerous abilities have expanded significantly over the long haul, from the bows and bolts of the Middle Age to the specific bombs and robots most militaries use today. Nowadays, even normal residents approach drones they might actually weaponize with little bombs. Luckily, however, such a weapon isn't versatile. Each robot can just hold one bomb and be guided by a solitary individual, which means its dangerous capacities are restricted. 
Hypothetically, obviously, any weapon can be created altogether and used to arm a nation's military. Be that as it may, luckily, we have global assets and military readiness to forestall such events. What we don't presently have is a worldwide arrangement of authority over self-governing weapons, which could give only one individual controller over a whole fleet of dangerous robots. The key message here is, artificial intelligence could be weaponized. One significant explanation for self-ruling weapons is so possibly risky is that they're profoundly adaptable. A massive fleet of, say, 10 million independent robots could be administered by only five people working in a control room and dispatched at the simple bit of a catch. Also, these self-governing weapons could be modified to assault or execute explicit people, say, each male between the ages of 12 and 60 of every given country. Furthermore, other significant dangers accompany the advancement of self-governing weapons. For one, there could before long be a weapons contest between nations all attempting to be the first to make this technology. Independent weapons would likewise be powerless against adversary hacking, which means a nation could wind up being assaulted by its own weapons. Given these possible issues, it's fundamental that as long as we keep on creating self-ruling weapon innovation, we understand the dangers, and take the important block measures. Government guidelines are one method of guarding against the abuse of innovation, and scientists ought to guarantee that they plan the most secure possible systems as it so happens. Obviously, there are alternate ways AI could be weaponized besides real weapons. Promoting, for example, could utilize AI procedures to impact how people vote. This has, indeed, as of now occurred, when Cambridge Analytica utilized Facebook client information to help the 2016 Trump campaign. In any case, there might be something more stressful still than these sorts of weaponization, the danger of job loss on a massive scale. Widespread essential pay or allowances for education could tackle the issue of occupation automation. Imagine that, in 10 years, you never need to work one more day in your life. Does that sound like an ideal world or a bad dream? Whatever your answer, the developing presence and expertise of AI, particularly with regards to productively finishing repeatedly tasks, may imply that numerous positions will before long be computerized. A couple normally referred to instances of the people who could before long be out of work are clerks, transporters, bookkeepers, and assembly line laborers. Anyway, how might people endure when they presently don't attempt to create pay? Indeed, there is an assortment of answers for this issue, however, a large portion of the people the creator met concurred that some type of all-inclusive essential pay, or UBI, will be fundamental for what's to come. The key message here is, widespread essential pay or allowances for education could tackle the issue of occupation automation. Over the long haul, UBI may become important if a large enough area of a country's economy is computerized. Man-made intelligence could significantly expand business profitability, creating income that could be flowed back to a country's residents as a month-to-month -month payment. The inquiry is, will UBI truly be important? All things considered, at whatever point there has been a gigantic technological transformation from the beginning of time, people have anticipated occupation losses for a massive scale. Obviously, certain positions have for sure vanished after some time, however, new ones have consistently shown up in their place. Only a couple of years prior, for example, there were no positions identified with online media. Presently, there are many. For the people whose positions do become mechanized, robust education projects could be an answer. Nations could even embrace a strategy of paying jobless people to consider and build up new professions, a proposal frequently referred to as conditional basic income. Luckily, almost certainly, we just won't acknowledge each part of our lives being controlled by robots. We'll actually esteem encounters that include human association. These days, for example, it's possible to purchase fantastic music for only a couple of dollars. However, going to a live show may cost you two or three hundred dollars. Thus, callings that emphasize motivating people and making associations are probably going to turn out to be considerably more lucrative as robots become increasingly more coordinated into our lives. Indeed, job loss is stressful, yet a few specialists feel we ought to concentrate on a much greater danger presented by AGI. They accept this innovation can start and end times. The likely drawbacks of artificial general intelligence are fervently challenged. Point of fact, the rise of AI has carried with it an entire host of concerns. Yet, maybe none has been also advertised as the danger presented by human-like AGI. What occurs if robots overshadow humanity, getting quicker, more astute, and stronger than us all? 
A world overwhelmed by robot overlords is still most likely a careful sci-fi situation. In any case, as per rationalist Nick Bostrom and a couple of different specialists, it's beneficial to consider how the mission to make AGI could wind up turning out badly. The key message here is, the likely drawbacks of artificial general intelligence are fervently challenged. In the event that you've ever known about the paperclip issue, first proposed by Nick Bostrom, you've been familiar with quite possibly the most popular psychological tests that outline the likely risks of AGI. Imagine that an AI is entrusted with working a paperclip production line. Over the long haul, the AI continuously becomes better and more efficient at working the plant and making paper clips. In the long run, the AI develops so wise that it understands that the most ideal approach to make paper clips is to sway control away from humanity and transform the whole world into paper clips. This situation is intentionally childish, however, it's intended to show how AI could turn out to be excessively acceptable at accomplishing the objectives we program it with. The greater part of the analysts the creator met trust Bostrom's model is ridiculous, and there are a few different ways for us to dodge the paperclip situation. For one, you basically wouldn't enable a paperclip production AI to control, for example, an electrical matrix. In addition, you would make certain to plan the AI with a worthy situation and an origination of good and bad, to such an extent that it isn't designed with the sole motivation behind making however many paperclips as could reasonably be expected. There are yet more methods of shielding against an AGI takeover. Quite possibly the most extremist has been proposed by Brian Johnson, who accepts that we need to update humanity itself, not simply machines. To do this, Johnson has made an organization called Kernel, to utilize neuroscience to hack our minds and increment our psychological capacities through a microchip embed or another gadget. The specialists differ about the specific timetable for when we'll accomplish AGI. However, what's significant is that we pay attention to these issues and get ready for a world we may before long be offering to machines whose intelligence matches our own. Final summary. The key message in these chapters. Because of advances in deep learning and neural networks, artificial intelligence has gotten phenomenal at finishing explicit, narrow tasks. Nonetheless, we're as yet far off from the time of artificial general intelligence, which will require progress in unsupervised learning, hybrid systems, and neuroscience. Regardless of whether we don't see AGI arise in the course of our life, all things considered, AI's part in medical services and the military will keep on developing, introducing new difficulties, and giving significant advantages to humanity. You like what you hear? Check out other personal development or business books. This video was made possible by your support. It takes a very long time to make one of our videos, so thanks to your contributions to Patreon and watching our videos. We are slowly able to do more and more of them. If you want to help us out, check out the Patreon page. If you like the contents of this video, check out other books in the description and suggest what book we should cover next.